Well, Mark, the province is reporting a slight decrease in the number of new coronavirus cases today, and health officials say most of them involve people under the age of 60. We had 111 new cases confirmed today, and 96 of those are people under 60 years old. One additional death has been recorded. A majority of today's cases come from Toronto, Peel, and Windsor, Essex. And with those decreasing numbers, there's more pressure to open schools in the fall. While the government initially said boards could come up with three options to, from online learning to full-time school to a combination of both, the Premier today said he's told school boards he wants students in school. I want kids in school five days a week. Uh, we don't need to shut the school down on a Wednesday to clean. What they should be doing is cleaning at nighttime and having the kids in class five days a week. So. That, that's what I'm uh, really uh, advocating for, and I'll be sitting down talking to the Minister of Education. He has a good plan because we have to plan for everything. God forbid when the flu season hits in September, October, and we get hit again for the second wave, we have to be prepared for all scenarios. Now, a spokesperson for the Premier later clarified with me uh, that, and said that doesn't mean children will go to school every day, every week. They could still be one week on, one week off, for example. A source in the education sector tells me the term that's being used for back to school is modified conventional. In other words, a return to full-time school but with enhanced health measures. But that's going to cost money. I'm told the biggest added expense to boards will be for extra cleaning, transportation and PPE if it's decided it will be used. Earlier today, I spoke with the president of the Ontario School Board Association about the challenges. That'll mean that we'll need to bring in a full custodial staff in every school that's doing this after hours. We're going to need some help with that. Transportation, absolutely. If you, you know, we load a school bus with elementary kids up to 72 kids. Well, social distancing is going to make that a little bit of a challenge. There are going to be some pressures on funding, but um, we are certainly confident that the ministry will listen to our concerns. There's going to be so much to work out. Can you have assemblies, for example? And one more note, not school re related, Premier Doug Ford started his Ontario tour today. He's going to be crisscrossing the province, paying tribute to communities and businesses that stepped up during the pandemic. He is encouraging everyone to buy local to help boost the economy.